Welcome, Keith here from Lewis Jewelers, your diamond store and so much more in the great city of Ann Arbor, Michigan. Today's trusted advisor talk is gonna be about lab-grown diamonds versus earth-mined diamonds. There's gonna be a couple of key points we're gonna walk through, origin, the four C's, fifth C of cost, and then how we can help you in this process. So with Origin, Origin um, as a quick conversation, just to think about what lab-grown diamonds are, is that you have ice. You have ice that's produced from Mother Nature, which we get here in Michigan on a regular basis for a couple months, or you have ice that's created in a refrigerator and a freezer. Undeniably the same ice being chemically all exactly the same, it's just coming from different origins, different spots. The carbon footprint that we're gonna get from a lab-grown diamond coming out of a laboratory is certainly less than what you get with an earth mine diamond. However, one thing that needs to be strongly considered is all of the community outreach and environmental stewardship that comes from the World Diamond Council and what they've done over the last 20 years. It's been amazing within these communities uh, from all over the world. In regards to the four C's, as you can see on your screen, there's a split screen that shows the two carat diamonds. One is a lab-grown diamond, the other one is an earth mine diamond. They are so similar in every aspect. Color and clarity are gonna be virtually identical um, and you have all the same options to be able to walk through and that factors in with pricing of the differences that are there. But as you look at that and we see that up close and in person that there really isn't any difference from either of the two. There is a little difference in the clarity once we look at things underneath the magnification as far as the type of internal mark that's in there. But other than that, chemically, physically, the diamond is going to be identical. It's going to wear exactly the same. It's going to be exactly that same thing 20 years from now, 50 years from now that either of the two would be. In regards to cut, there's a sparkle difference that's gonna be with every single diamond, whether you're comparing two earth mine diamonds or two lab grown diamonds. There's always a bit of a difference there because they're cut by man, they're cut by hand. And so those uniquenesses will always need to be seen. With a lab grown diamond, they're typically ideal cut diamonds. So they're always gonna have very, very strong performance to them. That eye visual tickle that we see that, that comes from a diamond, we want that to do its job best, the best it possibly can. In an earth mine diamond, Sometimes there's some sacrifices that are made to where the cut may not be as strong as what we would like it to be because the cutter was trying to maximize weight within the diamond. So that will be some differences that are there. Both are going to have lab reports for you to be able to see that. But I want to strongly point out to you that the lab reports do not tell the whole story. What the lab reports are going to do for you is going to help you to potentially walk away from stones that you may not have liked because as you do your research and you start finding out what are these things that, that you wanna have in your bucket, there's still some things that don't get talked about. And I'll make another analogy for you that when you buy a house, you typically lean on a, an inspector to come in and help find things that you cannot see or you don't know what to look for. That's our job as a trusted advisor is to help guide you and see all those things that the report is not finding for you. The report gives you some nuts and bolts, but it doesn't give all the characteristics of a diamond. Some diamonds, as you'll see on the screen right now, can actually have a milkiness to them, which definitely diminishes the sparkle, but that is not talked about on the report in any way. So you need somebody on the ground to be able to look at those diamonds and help guide you in the best way possible for you to be able to make that comparison from diamond to diamond and, and really get your best value that you possibly can. In talking of cost, so those diamonds that we were originally looking at, the two carat diamonds, from a monetary difference between a lab grown at $7,000 and an earth mine diamond at $18,000 for that same quality, there's certainly a big cost difference between them. And that's certainly something that you're gonna to have to come with a, a decision to decide which, most, which is most important for you is versus that size versus money being spent. With lab grown, there is a residual value difference that we don't know and where it's going to end up at five years from now, 10 years from now. Being an, uh, a produced item, nobody knows what the market's gonna be for that. It's an ever-changing market. Right now it's changing monthly, 
it's certainly changed from the last three years ago that a lot of these diamonds have made their way into the marketplace. So there is some unknown with that residual value. So that's something you want to consider. It's something you want to talk about and then make your best decision from there. When we deal with a lot of those things, again, what I would really want to give you as a, as a, a best footnote that I can try to guide you with is to get help. Don't shop alone. There's so many uh, great stores that are out there. Ideally, we're one of those that can certainly help you as best we can. Um, as just a little bit of a footnote to that, our store, if you're not familiar with it, we have such a wealth of knowledge. We're a uh, third generation store that's been around for a hundred years, celebrating this year, our hundredth anniversary. But we have three GIA graduate gemologists on staff. We have one certified AGS appraiser. We have two diamond graduates from GIA. We also have a Swiss watch ambassador as well. So the wealth of knowledge that we have to help guide you and help walk you through the process, and give you all the tools and the, the best information that you can to make your decision is, is really limitless here at Lewis Jewelers. So whether it's lab grown diamonds or earth mine diamonds, we've got you covered. We've got everything that you need here at Lewis Jewelers.